What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds where today we're not going to rebuild anything. Today, today's a big day for the Hellcat and the Corvette. We're actually doing a video about both of them. The Hellcat and the Corvette are both getting something that they desperately need. Here's the Hellcat. I know it's dark, but you know what you can see even when it's dark? You can see right through the windows. The windows are ridiculously clear. There's no tint on them. Come back here to the Corvette. Man, it's a bright day today. Okay, again, look how clear these windows are. Like, you can see right through these damn things, right? Too, too light. Definitely too light. Now, it looks like there may be a tad bit of tint on the back windows right here. Which, this is the thing uh, uh, car manufacturers are doing now. It's weird. The truck was the same way. The back windows had slightly more tint, uh, or tint at all, and the, and the front ones didn't. I don't understand it. We're going to go back to my favorite spot, Altamir Window Tinting on Western here in Oklahoma City. We are getting the windows tinted on the Vet and the Hellcat. Let's get down there. We're going to get the Vet down there first. We're going to get that knocked out. This is awesome, guys. You bring your car in, and in about an hour, it's done. You can roll your windows down immediately everything like these guys are off the charts so we're going to come bring this back swap it out for the hellcat and then we're going to go do the tags on the hellcat the uh manufacturer certificate of origin the mso came in on the hellcat today which means it's time to do the tags i expect that's going to be around three thousand dollars but we're going to find out together so uh let's get this party started all right guys remember what this looks like all right look how crystal clear everything is out there it's ridiculous it's ridiculous it's unbearable unbearable it's almost as unbearable as getting out of this damn car it sits like six inches off the ground there she is guys remember what she looks like because she ain't gonna look like that again anytime soon we're over here like i said altamir window tinting and paint protection i wasn't even aware they do ppf but they do ppf 11700 southwestern all right guys there it is there it was that's what it looks like you know you get an idea where it's at. there's a viper sitting over there too we're dropping off the vet we're going to be back in about an hour let's see what she looks like when they're done guys you know i had to show this off right yeah now obviously this is not mine but this is a gorgeous i mean this is an absolutely beautiful beautiful gts I love those stickers. It's got the tire stickers. All right. Yeah, they don't come that way. Those are the tire stickers that you got to put on them. That is a beautiful, beautiful Viper, man. Golly. Yeah, I love this car. Absolutely love it. These are cars from what I've been told. Obviously, I've never owned one. I've never driven one. But everybody tells me that if you're going to own a Viper, you would better know how to drive. Because these things are like they're they're monsters they're they're absolute beasts on the street and if you can't drive you have no business owning one of these because they're like bare bones as when i don't know about the the newer vipers i have no idea but from what i've heard in the past man if you buy a viper you'd better know how to drive and then of course right next to the viper you got a model s man it's a 60 and then next to that you got a model 3 I, I love, I still love the Tesla. I've had a lot of you asking me, do I regret getting rid of the Tesla? Not at all, man. <laughs> Not at all. In fact, even though the Tesla was like, the Tesla packed that punch that you'll never forget, guys. If you ride in a performance dual motor with insanity or ludicrous, you will never forget the feeling of acceleration in that car. It'll never leave your mind. As memorable as that was, it's still more fun in my personal opinion to have a gasoline car but i still have much respect and love for the teslas i love the model 3 too in fact one day maybe i'll get one maybe i'll get a model y i don't know i don't know we'll see what happens it's still beautiful car that's a dual motor model 3 absolutely gorgeous model s this is the big boy right here i love i love the what i love about the model s over the model 3 is just the length the size it's just a big car man it's a it's a it feels so much bigger inside honestly than it even looks on the outside but then you get over here to this viper oh man that is just 
that's sexy guys i don't care what any of you say this is a sexy sexy car all right let's move on to getting these windows tinted all right guys she's done and i was just told that they're going to let us see behind the scenes how they do their window tinting so we're going to do a, an actual time lapse of the hellcat and i wasn't even aware of that they're gonna let me go back there and film the process how they do everything it's really cool guys they literally have computers that uh have all of the templates necessary for each each car each make model each year they got a template and then they've got a machine back there that actually cuts the window tint perfectly every time so you always get a perfect cut every time and so big shout out to them i did not know that was going to happen no discounts no none of that we, we paid full price for everything here guys this is not sponsored content it's just how the 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 series kind of unfolded so really really cool of them to let us go back there and look listen on this particular tent the stratus series that i got lifetime no fault replacement so if you nick it scratch it with your ring or god forbid you burn it with a cigarette or something like that whatever you bring it back they replace it guys no fault replacement and the stratus series is supposed to be like the best supposed to be the best at uh, keeping heat uv heat and everything out of your car keeping your car cool look at this cut man i mean it's perfect now there are going to be a lot of bubbles in this my ram was the same way when we got the ram done a lot a lot of bubbles because this is a really thick and heavy film uh, those bubbles went away very very quickly so there we go guys let's go get the hellcat let's come back and do some more video all right guys we're back here at altamir again this time we've got the hellcat with us the hellcat's looking kind of nasty she is dirty very dirty got bugs on it you notice yes i took off the yellow banana guards or whatever you guys like to call them i'm gonna have to hurry because i'm actually a few minutes late getting back here i wanted you to see how look at that look how easily you can see through it all right and obviously the back windows are a little bit darker same thing with the back the very back window here all right, see if we can get a good angle without the sun. That damn sun is just on fire today, man. Get it? Sun on fire? Yeah, I know. All right, there she is. That's what it looks like now. Get you a good angle going around. All right, let's get her inside. Let's see what it takes to get the windows tinted on this bad boy. So if you're curious about their prices, obviously you can go to their website, but here's a here's a price board right here. It gives you an idea of what this stuff's gonna cost. They've also got a nice little sample over here of the different options they have from Lumar Films. And here's their Formula One. Here's the Stratus series that I chose for all of my cars. They also have an Air series if you're interested in uh, basically not having your windows tinted but still providing you with that good heat rejection. They've also got PPF, you can see right here. They give you a blow dryer and they give you a, a brass brush here. Uh, this is that self-healing film. And they've got all the carts and everything here too. You can do a good price. Just go check out their website. I have a link in the description, link in the comment section. Let's get this thing done. guys we're behind the scenes here getting an exclusive look at how they do this they got this computer system here that's phenomenal it's got all the templates for every year make model car you could imagine so instead of having to hand cut all this stuff like like the old days and you wouldn't get perfect cuts this thing is going to go over here to this machine he's loading up some fresh window tent they said about a box of this window tent is like two thousand dollars okay just to give you an idea see all these boxes down here 
two thousand dollars for a box of this window tent and this tent right here is going to hook up to this uh, guys forgive me i don't know how all this works <laughs> they just let me back here to record they're going to hook it up to this cool machine this newfangled technology sounds like something my granddaddy would say right <laughs> newfangled technology they're going to hook the tent up to it it's going to it's going to i guess it's going to cut it out like to spec and then they just take it and put it on the car we're going to show you all of that once he's done hooking this up i'm going to see what it comes out looking like then we'll move over to the car and show you guys how they we're not going to go through this whole process guys i've I'm sure none of you want to watch the whole car get tinted, but uh, definitely going to show you the highlights here. This thing is cool. Reminds me of an old Epson printer I used to have back in the day. Oh, there she goes. I can see the cuts in it already. All right, this is cool. Now I understand why that tent looks so perfect on all my cars. I was like, man, these guys do a good job cutting this stuff out. <laughs> I, that's why I keep coming back, man, because it's perfect. Like the cuts are perfect. I've never seen it. I've never seen tent this good before. Never. Oh, I can see the I can see the outline and everything right there. This is really cool. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera or not, but you can kind of see the outline here, and it goes up and it comes down. Look at that. Okay, this is cool, guys. This is really cool. Gotta love technology, right? Look at this beautiful dog they got over here. Oh, that's, there you go. Oh, he ate my mic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> You're just playful. You can't help it. 
You can't help it. You're playful. <laughs> he thought my mic was a toy. He snatched it in his mouth and took off with it. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's okay. You don't know any better. You don't know any better. You thought it was a toy. So while they're finishing up the car, they invited me to come sit in their office and have a little drink. And what a beautiful place this is, guys. Every office is so unique. They've got multiple offices for the different people that are back here working. Every office has its own personality. It's really, really cool. This place is very professional. And I know uh, a lot of you are going to think this is sponsored. I want to I want to reiterate that this was not sponsored content, guys. I paid full price for everything. I didn't get a discount. What what I got was the ability to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes footage. What's going on back there? And one of the things I noticed is they put the torch up to the window. Now, immediately I knew why they were putting the torch up to the window. That's propane. It's not exceptionally high heat. All right. So I want to point out real quick the reason for the torch is it's called express down, being able to roll your windows down. If you don't want to have to wait, you know, for the 48 hours before you can roll your windows down, you pay for that. It's like 49 bucks. They heat up all of your windows around the edges. And basically all that's doing is expediting what the sun would naturally do. The reason you have to wait 48 hours is when you move your windows up and down, it will actually peel the tent down. So generally when you get your windows in, you got to wait 48 hours. When they put that low heat propane torch to it, it simply does what the sun would do in 48 hours, but it does it instantly. So before people get all freaked out about the torch, they do this all the time. It's perfectly normal. It's not hurting anything. Think about it seriously. How hot does your car get sitting out in the sun? How hot does your glass get sitting out in the sun? That low heat torch is simply doing what the sun would do naturally. And another thing, perhaps you're freaking out because, oh my God, they used water all over the door. Again, ladies and gentlemen, your cars are designed so that you can open your doors in the middle of a pouring thunderstorm without hurting your car, okay? And all they have in that is uh, Johnson & Johnson baby wash, okay? There's, there's nothing in it that's going to hurt your car. It's not going to hurt the Alcantara. It's not going to hurt your leather. It's not going to hurt your door panels. Trust me, guys. They've been doing this a long time. They know what they're doing. And that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen kind of literally a window wrap right we got the uh we got the window strip right here see if i can get that sun out of the way you see how dark that is that looks real nice real nice unfortunately they have a uh, they have a clear like i said earlier a clear one that you can put down your windshield uh and they can put it on any car any make any model except for dodges and i i asked him about it i was like could we put something you know, down here to keep the heat that's coming in off the dashboard, there's still a considerable amount of heat getting in through the windshield. And he said, yes, on any car except a Dodge, a Mopar, because apparently Dodge puts their uh, PCMs or ECMs, a control module under the windshield. And when they do this, the water gets down and it actually fries it. So they cannot do the clear portion that would cover this section of the windshield. They can still do the strip. As you can see, we got the strip. And as you can see, look how dark that is. I mean, I know it's not pitch black, guys. I wasn't going for like a pitch black look, but that is dark. That's 15% all the way around. And she looks good. Like she looks, she looks real good, guys. I think it totally changed the entire way this car looks. I mean, it is just absolutely sick now. I'll show you, uh, look at that, see that? You ain't seeing in. Let's go to the other side because the sun's kind of shining this direction. So if anything, you'll be able to see it better from this way. See how well you can see through it. Like I said, you can see through it, but that's mainly from all the light getting in through the windshield. Otherwise, this is pretty dark, guys. They did a great job. Big shout out and thank you to Altamir for allowing us to come back there and see how they tint windows for sitting with me and talking with me about their process i think that was really cool of them they obviously didn't have to do that there are going to be bubbles i think i've said that earlier in the there's going to be lots of bubbles that stuff does go away the ram came out came out 100 percent perfect now it is time guys to see how much it's going to cost to get plates on this bad boy let's do it all right, guys, while we're closing out this video, I figured I'd show you a little bit of the progress going on over here at AR headquarters, man. So here's that old tree that was in the front yard. 
that's a, that's a lot of dead wood there. We're going to try to burn some of Some of it's probably too big to burn. And we got this bonfire right here, man. We're going to light this up probably in a couple days. And if you guys want to see a video of the bonfire, hit me up. Let me know down in the comment section below. If you want to be part of it, I'll do my best to bring the camera out here and see if we can get some good footage of that fire. We moved the brush over here out of the way a little bit. Um, they're actually going to use a skid steer and push this a little further away from the uh, <laughs> from the fire pit. But for you guys that have been wondering what's going on, or for the few of you that have commented and said that I'm lying and we're not actually building anything <laughs> out here, uh, hopefully you can see we got we got progress out here, man. We got trailers. Uh, my godfather is here with a couple of his buddies, and they do this stuff for a living, guys. So they know what they're doing. Look, we got wood, we got some more. Uh, we got a skid steer over here. And coming up over here, you'll see we, we got, I think we got just about everything uh, to get this whole party started, man. Look at that. It, it's hard to, it's kind of hard to, uh, to take it all in, honestly, that all of this stuff laying around out here is gonna turn in to our shop. You know, like this is going to be, this is going to be our garage. This is going to be where everything happens here in the very near future. Um, by the end of the weekend, I don't know when you guys are seeing this. For me, today is the 11th of June. So hopefully somewhere a month or so from now, we, we should probably see some real progress in the next few days, to be honest with you. By the end of the week, I think you're going to see there's stuff out here, probably gravel and maybe even getting some cement. They've got all these stakes in the ground, kind of marking everything and the levels as well. Um, you'll see they're all kind of different heights because these have all been squared and leveled. So where the bottom of one is or something like that, like this is level and all of these other ones sticking out <clears throat> are going to have to be filled in with dirt and gravel or whatever. Forgive me, guys. I don't build properties. I don't build things like this, so I don't know. But all the stakes are sitting to different heights because the ground has to be leveled. So all of these stakes need to have dirt or whatever uh, filling them in to where they're pretty much flush with the ground. But this is going to be it, guys. This is going to be it. There it is. And if you were wondering how much the tags cost, because I did say we were going to talk about the tags, uh, <laughs> I was truthfully a little surprised, but not overly surprised. The tags on the Challenger were $3,000. That was crazy. $3,000 for the tags on the Challenger. And it was like two weeks ago, I just did the tags on the truck and the truck was $2,000. $5,000 this month for tags on these cars. So we are gonna get out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually had a lot of fun doing the behind the scenes footage over at Altamir window tinting. Sorry, I got bugs all over me. Uh, that was unexpected. I thought we were just gonna do a video showing you the window tent on the car. I didn't know we were actually gonna be able to go behind the scenes with them and <laughs> these damn bugs and actually get to show you like the machine cutting and the people actually put them in. I had a good time today, and if you enjoyed this content, give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Before we get out of here, one more time, uh, we're also taking the Marauder. We're picking the Marauder up tonight too, but we're not going to do that on video. The Marauder's sitting way over there in the distance. We're going to take the Marauder because it's supposed to be sold this weekend uh, for $8,100. Uh, but in case you're wondering what the what the Hellcat looks like now that the sun's not so bright. I think you can actually get a better look at it right now than when the sun was out. I think it just totally changed the look of the car, man. I really do. It looks absolutely sick. And I know I said I tagged the car and you're probably like, but it's still got temp tags. The plates in the back seat. I didn't have a flathead screwdriver to put it on. So we'll go ahead and get that on. Look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous, guys? absolutely beautiful beautiful so i'm gonna grab the marauder and we're gonna head up out of here before it gets too daggum late um again big shout out to altamir window tinting and for you guys that are interested local people uh if you're gonna be in town or whatever there you go altamir window tinting www.altamirokc.com 
All right, home of the one hour window tint. And here's this on the back. Uh, 11700 Southwestern in Oklahoma City, altamiroKC.com. And uh, yeah, go do your thing, man. Go, go tell them Randy from Auto Auction Rebuild sent you. I guarantee you they're gonna do a good job, guys. Uh, I've been going back. It's my third car there, and if I get any more, you can bet I'm going to take them back, too. Those guys are great. I had a wonderful time. Very, very enjoyable conversation while I was sitting there. It's a experience like you're you're sitting in a home. Like, it doesn't feel like a business. It feels like you're, like, visiting a friend or something home. Really cool place, so definitely go check them out. And with that, <clears throat> follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. And until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I will catch you all very soon. As you can see, we got a lot going on and a lot of videos to come in the next one.